Alessandro Ramos was the breadwinner for his family, a New York City construction worker in a dangerous line of work. I've always been worried about him because he has a very um, risky job. Last week, the Ramos family received the worst news possible. The 43-year-old husband and father of three daughters had been killed on a Queens construction site, belted off the fourth floor of the building by a massive 6,500-pound steel beam that snapped away from its securing cable. The crashing beam also killed the crane operator below. Sandra Ramos alleges those in charge of the site failed to keep her husband safe. He was my only real family here. Sandra is now left to care for the family's three daughters, the youngest just five years old. My youngest daughter, the five-year-old, was the closest mm -hmm. to him. She used to sleep with him. And what's been hardest these past couple of nights is she cries every night because she's no longer able to sleep with him. And while it was indeed windy that day... Most GCs, most c good contractors, as responsible contractors, wouldn't put a crane up today. You know? Because of the wind. Because of the wind. City building department investigators say it does not appear at this time high wind played a factor. But Ramos' family attorney, Mark Freund, alleges the construction site bosses failed to ensure Alessandro Ramos was wearing a safety harness. He certainly wasn't hooked up at the time of the incident. Our information tells us that this was going on for several weeks. This should never happen. A hardworking man like this. A Department of Building spokesman says a preliminary investigation is examining why the rigging strap connecting the steel beam to the crane snapped. PIX11 News has learned the use of harnesses on the site is also part of the investigation. We reached out to the crane operator and the general contractor for the site. Both firms failed to return our call for comment. I want him back. High school senior Jocelyn Ramos says processing her father's loss has been a full-time job that clearly is not getting any easier. It's a hard moment because you went home and you never, you never realized that there, there is a moment that they're going to tell you that you're one of your families that you love. They die already.